For today's recipe, we're starting off with two cups of some fresh basil. Now make sure you get the fresh one and not any dried basil. That makes all the difference in this recipe. So next, we're going to add two large cloves of peeled garlic. Plop those right in. And then we're going to take some pine nuts. You want two tablespoons of pine nuts. Now, if you have a latex allergy, pine nuts are full of lactic acid. And so you want to use maybe walnuts or a different kind of nut for this recipe. But for me, I love pine nuts. So ever all those first ingredients, we're just going to mix them up in our bowl briefly before we transfer them. We're gonna take this lovely green mixture and we're gonna go ahead and throw it in our food processor. Now we are making a homemade pesto sauce. If you didn't know from these ingredients, um, I've never actually made a pesto. So we're gonna be doing this together for the first time. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Okay, so we have all of that in there. Next, we're going to put our lid on. We want to make sure it's locked in place. Just like that. And now take that off and while the machine is running, we're going to add our olive oil. So let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, everything's starting to blend up. So I have two tablespoons of olive oil. This is just the extra virgin olive oil you can get at the store. Now, while the machine is running, I'm going to start slowly pouring this in. that all blended together. Wow, I am very impressed with myself with this one. So now that that is all blended up, still got some texture and form to it, I may actually add a little more olive oil. So maybe you wanna add two to three tablespoons just to get the right consistency. If you add more, more of your dry ingredients like the basil, that's where, when you, you might need to adjust your recipe just a little bit. All right, that's looking like more of the consistency I was looking for. Let's go ahead and take that off. Use our same fork, yeah. It's a little more creamy now well blended with those pine nuts. Perfect. So now I'm going to add my Parmesan cheese. Now you can grate yours um, fresh if you like or get the pre-grated kind. I would recommend um, not using the, the like powder Parmesan cheese uh, um, in like the, the dry stuff that you get in the pasta aisle. I would recommend using this. So we're just going to add that half a cup of Parmesan cheese, put our lid back on, and then just pulse it about three times. Oh boy. Yes, I can smell that basil in there. Everything is looking pretty tasty to me. Now, this pesto looks maybe Maybe I need to add a little bit more olive oil. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more. It smells incredible it though. Does, I love right? pesto. Doesn't it smell like a like a good Italian restaurant? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on and add just a little more of our olive oil. That looks perfect to me, actually. So let's go ahead and take out our blade. Let's unlock it. Ooh, yes. 
Now I'm going to transfer this to a little bowl and assemble our breakfast. We're actually going to be using this pesto for our breakfast today. Really? I've never had pesto with breakfast. Oh yeah, this is one of my, I, I've never used pesto um, for, for this breakfast, but I make this breakfast all the time. So I'm very excited to try it with the pesto to give it a new robust kind of Italian twist on my favorite breakfast. All right, now we're going to assemble our breakfast pesto toast. Yes. So I went ahead and how I make my toast is I butter it and then I throw it on either a frying pan or a griddle pan. And now I'm just gonna add a light layer of goat cheese. I love goat cheese for breakfast. I make it in my scrambled eggs. I spread it on my toast. I just love that sharp taste it has, but yet creamy at the same time. I don't know how, how these goats do it, but they make really good cheese. Okay, so we're just gonna spread that on there, just like that. And next, I'm going to take that fresh pesto that we just made, and I'm going to start drizzling that on there a little bit, scatter it around with my fork. I don't want too much in one spot because pesto can have a strong, robust flavor as we can smell right now. But let's go ahead and make sure that each bite gets some of that good flavor we made. Look what we created, guys. Look at this amazing toast. This is fantastic. Pesto toast. And last piece de resistance, I went ahead and fried up an egg. Let's go ahead and plop that on top. Now, I don't like my egg sunny side up, so I try to do a little more on the cooked side, like a fried hard egg. Let me go ahead and turn that for you. Look at that beauty. Now, let's go ahead and cut into it. Ooh, see how perfectly oh, that egg perfect. is cooked? That pesto, goat cheese, let's go ahead and give it a try. This is my new favorite breakfast. You oh look like God. you're in heaven. Mm, that is so good. The pesto turned out perfect with that goat cheese, the egg. Oh my God, this is really good.